Hello, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and this is Rich's 10 minute taster for a game on PlayStation 4 called Double Pug Switch. Um, it's a auto run puzzle platformer type game um, that I want to take you through. I've played probably about 10-15 minutes of it so far. Um, pretty easy to pick up. Fairly well made to be fair. It, it feels pretty good. The jump button isn't great and the kind of switching up of the colours of the background um, levels feels a bit janky um, you'll see what I mean in a minute when we start playing but overall it feels like a, a good solid little game I'm, I'm feeling like a sort of six seven out of ten style uh, rating for this on the games freezer scale so that'll make it a kind of melting rating but let's just uh, go level select and we'll take you through the tutorial so as you can take a look at the game see what you think and then you'll get an indication of whether it's this type of game is up your street or not so tutorial so basically um, the professor was undertaking an experiment the cat knocks over two ingredients creates a black hole the cat and the dog get sucked into the black hole and into an alternate reality um, and now the professor's talking to the dog obviously uh, Otis, can you hear me? Arf. That reckless cat whiskers smashed the portal fluid and sucked all of you through. It seems you're in an alternate dimension of our home. Arf. Otis, be a good boy. Find that naughty cat and bring him back. Arroo. Otis, remember your puppy school training. Tap the jump button to do a small jump. You can also hold the jump button to do a jump for longer and higher. Be careful. Arr. Right, okay, here we go. So, standard jump with X. Um, obviously, auto run, like I said. And away you go. That's the first bit done. It seems there are deadly spikes everywhere. Yep. I wonder who put these here. Good question. Be careful, Otis. Oh, that was a good start. <laughs> There's actually a trophy for your first death. Uh, one of many, it's called, I think. Otis, it appears your journey through the portal has left you in a destabilized quantum state. Arf! It means you have a twin brother in a parallel dimension you can switch to. You are both one and two dogs at the same time. Hmm. Press the switch button to swap to your parallel dimension pop. Right, so this is where it gets, for me, it got a bit confusing. I didn't realize that that is solid and, oh, and the other color isn't. Because both are solid until you switch, right? I'd rather it was just an outline, actually. That would be better. Oh. And this is the other thing. I thought that was it. End of the level, and it isn't. And then it switches back to being invisible. Anyway. That aside, well, I think once I get my puny brain around that, then um, retrain myself as to what I expected. Okay, so level select. Let's go into the uh, humble pops, humble hops, even, and we'll give that a go. Right, up we step. Coming in, notice what we got. It does literally throw you into the level as well. Yes, okay, checkpoint. Checkpoint Charlie. Training my eyes to 
This is where I got stuck first time around, but I've done it better this time. Ugh, no! <laughs> Whew. Restart, retry checkpoint. So that's the other thing, it switches it to... Um... Oh, that's annoying, because you can't see where you landed on that jump. Really annoying, that bit. Okay. And the jump isn't that responsive. Although I am now mini chop, which is all good. Yes! Okay. We are on. Like the Honky Kong. Oof, right. Where to next? Get the point. If I wonder what happens, if, oh, I was gonna say, I wonder what happens if I get all the coins. Do I have to recollect the coins? I do. Oh, what's what have I jumped into? Come on. That is annoying. Very annoying. <laughs> right, come on. Why does there why does a spike appear there? That is such a pain in my iris. Okay, we'll go the under route, eh? Right, we've reached the checkpoint, and that's annoying. Ah! The problem with this jump is it's either too much or too little. And then the obstacles are on you before you even know it. Right, come on. At least it does throw you straight back in the action after you die for the millionth time on a simple jump. Okay, go again. Ah, this bloody jump button! Right, this. Cut oh, off, for God's sake. So, the problem I've got is I'm having to press O to switch the dimension. And then after that, I'm immediately having to press X, but not really having enough time to time that jump. So that's why I'm falling. So. My answer was just to spam the jump button. The blind jump. Too many blind jumps. What the hell happened there? Yes, I completed the level. I don't know how, <laughs> but I completed the level. Right, let's try the next one. Whew. Physically, this is doing me in double dimension dogs. <sighs> Too many blind jumps, like I say, because I don't know what's down there. It almost feels like I need to zoom out a bit. I don't know whether this the resolution of my telly or what, but it just seems a bit too close. Ah, oh, you pragadandanga! Missed that. Oh, see, like, how am I meant to know I'm going to land there? That, my friends, is kind of annoying. Right, last go. <laughs> Come on. And that is annoying as well. Okay, I'm calling a halt to it there. That's literally gonna be 10 minutes. Not like me to do a 10 minute taster in 10 minutes. You kind of see where, what this game's all about. If you like um, auto run, platformer type games 
a little bit of a puzzle element to it interesting sort of switch between the dimensions um, in my opinion it, it just lacks a few things like I say the, the colouring of the platforms is the first thing that just stood out to me that um, would need refining in my opinion other people may disagree second thing is the jump button is not responsive enough and you have to kind of hammer it down and hold it long for a higher jump which is all well and good if it wasn't such a twitch type game you've really got to sort of make decisions quickly and to be able to do O and X where X is not a very uh, responsive jump button is uh, is kind of a nightmare but but I would say it it's, look, it's got me playing again already while I'm trying to do this outro I, it does keep me coming back it's not a it's not a badly made game at all. It's just something that I think could have easily been improved. Oh, with um, just a few more tweaks to the gameplay. So yeah, I'm I'm sort of erring towards the kind of six six out of ten um, area for this kind of a melting rating. I'm not doing a formal review for it now, but that's kind of where I'm thinking it it's at. So, if this is a type of game that you like and you like playing, maybe one for the young young'uns out there on a Nintendo Switch, um, then by all means go and check it out on the uh, the eShop or, um, or on the uh, PlayStation Store. So I've been playing it on PlayStation today. Um, hopefully you've liked the video. Hopefully it's given you an indication as to what this game is all about and whether it's something that you would like to buy. Um, head over to www.gamesfreezer.co.uk for more reviews, articles and videos um, click on the like button if you like this video that helps us immensely get new games in subscribe to our channel that helps us even more to get new games in through the, the Games Freezer door for Brit and myself to cover um, we're also on Twitter at Games Freezer and we're on Instagram at Games Freezer anyway, until next time my friends Goodbye.